Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. How are you today? Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, mister. How are you? Fine, very fine. That's good. Good, good, good. Welcome. Welcome, Janetti. Welcome, Carla. Welcome, Jenny, to the class. We are going to wait at least one more minutes so maybe the other ones join just give me one second because somebody was asking for my help oh i think it's this one and so hello good evening janetti are you oyente janetti or no because i don't know Okay. Somebody was asking for my help in the in the in exercise in the platform, but we're fine. I hope the rest is moving with the platform. Espero todo vayamos avanzando. Um. So in the plataforma, right? Porque recuerden que es muy importante. Eh, ahí ahorita me están pidiendo un poco de ayuda, pero ya, ya resolvieron. Hello, Miss Alejandra. Welcome. Hello, Carla. I hope you get better soon, Miss Carla. Espero se recupere pronto, Miss Carla. Oh, my goodness. So sorry for you. It's sad to be sick. Okay, let's start then. It's already two minutes, so we can do this, okay? Thank you, everybody, for being here. We are going to start with today's class. Today's class number 12, I don't remember, or oh, 13. Okay, we are going to continue. And um, so today it says here, Inglés Principiante Módulo 1. And today it is Wednesday, June 14, 2023. My name is Rosemary Alvarado. You can call me Miss Alvarado, okay? And uh, today uh, we are going to practice a little bit about the present um progressive, okay, or present continuous. El día de ahora vamos a practicar un poco acerca del presente continuo o el presente progresivo. Because yesterday we were talking about the simple present. Ayer estuvimos uh, um, hablando acerca del simple present. And uh, era para, recuerden, acerca de las cosas que hacemos diario, hábitos, routines, pero ahora vamos a continuar algo acerca de right now, okay? And so... And this is the, the unit number four. I am not wearing boots, okay? Uh, and so we are going to continue. This is the agenda, super short, but with a lot of activities, okay? And this is the practice, okay? Bottle chips, okay? Vamos a empezar con la práctica. Esto se llama bottle chips. Esto vamos a practicar un poco acerca del simple present. Why? ¿Por qué? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Vamos a tener un número y una letra y van a ver un verbo. Y con ese verbo vamos a tratar de crear una oración. Like this. Así, miren. Vamos a ver. So, for example, my sentence is going to be, mi oración sería así. Uh, voy a elegir la B, one, cut. Cut, cortar, right? So, the sentence for me it would be in the simple present. I cut the grass. Okay, I cut the grass. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one. Now, let's see. We're, everybody's going to try it, okay? Vamos a intentar hacer una oración. Let's start with uh, Kevin. Hello, Kevin, tell me, what uh, would you choose? Uh, number 11. Number 11. 11. Letra. A le yes, number and letter. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, A3. Uh -huh. A3. So, sería play. Tell me. Mm -hmm. I play soccer. Excellent, mister. Very good. Let's go with next one. Jose Carlos, tell me. One letter and one number. I chose the more difficult. Este, okay. B2. B2. Bye. Bye. Uh -huh. Tell me. Buy a chocolate. 
Ah, very good, Mr. Oh, you want a chip. That's awesome. Let's go with next one, Miss Jenny. Jenny. Let's go. Um, seven B. Seven B. Okay, it would be love. Uh huh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I am love. I love. Forever. I I love what? So only Saria. I love. Forever. Ah, I love forever. Very good. Thank you, Miss. Let's go with next one. Help me, please, Fausto. Uh, yes. It, vaya, Fausto, vas a elegir un número y una letra, please. And two C. Okay, two Z. Okay, so it would be uh, it. Tell me one sentence using it. Mm. Like for example, I eat pupusas. <laughs> <laughs> and you tell me one sentence. Yeah. Uh, I love you cookies. No. No. I, I eat, remember, it's eat your verb. Eat. Mm. So yeah, it is a cookie. Or maybe I eat cookies. Okay. Can I, you repeat the sentence? I eat cookies. I, I eat cookies. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. That's a simple present sentence. Esa es una oración en simple present. Okay, remember. Let's go with next one. Uh, help me, please, Alejandra. Alejandra, you have to choose a number and a letter. A letter. Tienes que elegir un número y una letra. Um, eight, five. Eight, five. Okay, sleep. Sí. Uh, I sleep. Perdón, I sleep. I sleep a lot every day. Excellent, me. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Let's go with uh, 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 Carla Rivera. B3. B3. Okay. C. I see the conference. Excellent, Miss. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Let's go with mm, 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 Jose Carlos. Jose Carlos, are you there, mister? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, no, it's okay. I'm sorry? I go write, I go write a poem. Ah, D3, I write a poem. Thank you. D2, D2. D2. Uh, D2. Uh -huh. and I was like, D3, listen, but okay, it writes, okay. Right. Ex excellent, thank you. Esmeralda, hello, Miss Esmeralda, welcome. Esmeralda, vas a elegir un número y una letra, okay? Entonces, okay. y ahí te va a dar un verbo. Y yo te voy a decir cuál verbo para que hagas una oración. Ok. Five okay. Uh -huh. and C. Ok. Five and C. Eso sería drink. So you have to say okay. a sentence using drink. Así como la hace ayer. Uh -huh. I drink coffee with milk. Excellent, Miss. Very good. That was good, good, good. Let's go with... Uh, Kevin, one more time, tell me. Dance. Can C4. you? Okay, C4. Okay, dance, tell me. I dance every day. Excellent. Do you dance every day? <laughs> okay. No. Uh, okay. <laughs> Don't worry, that's okay. Let's go one more time, please. Um, Carla Rivera. Um, C1. C1, okay, so it would be wash, lavar, wash. I wash my car. Excellent, Miss, thank you. Let's go with Jenny. One more time, Miss. Uh-huh. 
C3. C3, ok, C3, cook, cocinar. Uh -huh. So sería I cook, and then you say something, y después dices algo. So I cook. Me encanta. ¿Cómo I, puedo decirlo? Okay, I love to cook. I love to cook. Ajá, uh -huh. I love to cook. Excellent. Me. Es mi, es, me encanta cocinar. Yes. Así, I love to cook. Es me encanta cocinar. Okay. Excellent. Gracias. Thank you. No, no problem. Fausto, <laughs> let's, let's go. Tell me, Fausto. One number and one letter, please, Faust. Let's try it, mister. Oh, no. I don't know what is happening with Faust. Okay, let's go. Eddie. Oh, there. Oh, no, no. Okay, Eric. Can you help me, please, Eric? One number and one letter? D3. D3. Listen. Escuchar. Okay, so tell me one sentence using listen. Uh, I listen music. Excellent. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Thank you. Esmeralda, let's go one more time, please. We sorry. Sorry. No. Oh, they erased. So far. So, but oh, don't worry, Esmeralda. Choose one. Choose whatever you like. La que yo quiero. Yes. Anything. Okay. Any number oh. and any letter. What? Just one. You will be the last one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, <laughs> so, three. Three, uh-huh. A. A, okay, play, tell me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I play uh, to the basketball. Ah, you play basketball. Excellent, okay. very good. I play basketball. Aha, uh -huh, just that. Very good, everybody. Thank you for doing the practice with me. This is a little bit of practice for yesterday, simple present. Eso era un poquito de práctica para lo del día de ayer, que era el simple present, que es para hablar sobre rutinas y hábitos. Super fácil, por, porque, un segundo, quiero ver acá. Porque solo necesitamos un sujeto, ok, like for example, I, or you, or we, or they, y después vamos a un verbo, por ejemplo, el play, vea, I play basketball, como acaba de decir la Miss, vea, I play basketball, o por ejemplo, she, she drinks water, y aquí pues recuerden que teníamos lo de las S que estuvimos practicando ya al final de la clase, vea, and so that's for simple present. But today, we are going to learn a little bit about the present continuous for the future, okay? Acerca del presente progresivo o presente continuo. Que es para el futuro o para cosas que están sucediendo right now, okay? So, first of all, um, we are going to learn the rules for the ING. Because in the present progressive, okay, in el presente progresivo, se utilizan mucho los verbos con ing. In Spanish, it means ando, endo. Uh, yeah, ando, endo, and just that. Okay, pero in English, it will be ing. Remember, progr progressive activities, para actividades progresivas, que se desarrollan muchas veces. Uno y dos que se van a desarrollar en este momento y para eh, hablar sobre cosas del de futuro, ¿ok? And so, if you want, you can try to write them down because we don't have these in the, in the manual, but, it, but still, they are very important. The first rule that I have for you is this one. No problem, Fausto, that's okay. For most of the first, para ma la mayoría de los verbos, what are we going to do? We are going to add an ing. Para la mayoría de los verbos le vamos a agregar solo el ing. Like, for example, eat, el continuo sería eating, ¿ok? Les voy a mostrar otros verbos y ustedes me van a ir diciendo cómo sería con el ing, ¿ok? Like, for example, oh, bueno, aquí está primero, pero este ya lo vimos. This one, watch. ¿Cómo sería con ing, everybody? Watching. Watching. Mm. Okay, very good. What about play? Play. Excellent, very good. What about talk? Talk. Excellent, very good. 
What about cook? Cooking. Cooking. That's right, cooking. What about walk? Walking. Walking. Y ahí pueden ver tu hijito, ¿verdad? ¿De qué significa? Walking, caminando, right? What about study? Studying. 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 Miren, le agregamos ING. Estudiando, right? Clean. Cleaning. Cleaning. Mm, cleaning. Miren, solo agregando ING. Wait. Waiting. Waiting. Excellent. Now, next rule. La siguiente regla. Super easy. When the verb ends in E, cuando el verbo termina en E, ahí vamos a ver varios ejemplos. Vamos a eliminar, ok, esa E y le vamos a agregar ING en ING. Like, for example, make sería making, ok. O sea, se eliminó eso y le agregamos ING. Like, for example, we have this one. Uh, wait. Smile. ¿Cuál sería el ING? Smiling. 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 Very good. Look, there we eliminate the E and I, ING. Eliminamos la E, la E, y le agregamos ING. Vamos a ver the next one. Right. 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 Yay, very good. Drive. Driving. Driving. Excellent, very good. Have. Having. 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 Perfect, very good. Type. Typing. Type. Yes, very good. Okay, next one, next rule. The next rule, it says that if the verb ends in IE, we are going to change the IE for, vamos a eliminar eso, vamos a agregarla por una Y -E y un ING. Por ejemplo, lie, lie es mentir, pero mintiendo se dice, miren, lying. ¿Qué pasó? Eliminamos esta I y esta E y agregamos la Y y le agregamos ING. Entonces, lie sería lying. Hay poquitos con esto. Eh, vamos a ver. Lie, lying. Que es. Oh, también está descansando. Es que eso es lo mismo casi. Eh, lay. And um, that is also lying. Tie. Sería. Tying. Tying. Exactly. Very good. Let's see next one. Die. Dying. Exactly. Dying. Miren, eliminaron esa I y esa E y le agregaron la Y con ING. And the last rule y la última regla es que when we have a verb that finish in a consonant and consonant vowel consonant, tenemos consonante vocal consonante, vamos a duplicar la última consonante y le agregamos ING. Like, for example, run. Entonces, como termina en N, miren, y esta consonante, vocal consonante, se duplica la última consonante y le agregamos ING. So, run sería running, okay? Then we have, uh, wait, wait a second. Swim. How will be swim? Swimming. Swimming. Exactly, swimming. What about stop? Stopping. 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 Excellent, very good. What about, oh no, okay. <laughs> so that's for the verbs. Give me one second. I'm gonna show you my whiteboard and we are going to change some verbs. Okay, vamos a hacer un poquito de práctica con lo de los verbos, okay? Give me one second. Okay, for example, if I say, huh, drink, what will be the, um, Press the continuous form. Drink. Drinking. Drinks. No, pero con ING. Hmm. Uh, drink. Drinking. 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 Excellent. What about love? It would be. Loving. Loving. Exactly. Loving. Eliminamos esa E y le agregamos ING. Very good. What about hmm, play? Playing. 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 Excellent playing. What about hmm, hmm, hmm. travel? 
Traveling. Tra Traveling. Like this? Wait. Traveling? I like this. Yes or no? Así está bien. Traveling? What do you think? Traveling. Yes? No? Yes. Maybe? Yes. yes. Okay. What about... Uh, uh, mm. Let me see, let me see. Listen. Listen, escuchar. ¿Cómo sería con ING? Listening. Listening. Exacto. Listen. Solo le agregamos ING, miren. Estos son los verbos que vamos a utilizar con el presente progresivo. Ahorita vamos a estudiar ya la estructura. Ya vimos el presente, pero ahora vamos con algo que podemos hablar acerca del futuro. ¿Y cómo creamos esto? El present progressive. El present progressive, there are two ways. Recuerden que el present progressive to talk about things happening right now. El presente progresivo es para hablar sobre cosas que están sucediendo ahorita mismo o van a suceder en el futuro. And, and this is the structure. Esa sería la estructura. For the affirmative sentences, we are going to use a subject, then the verb to be, and then the general form plus something like a complement. Este, primero vamos a utilizar el sujeto, el verbo to be, un gerundio y algo para complementar. ¿Cuál, which one is the verb to be for I, everybody? What is the verb to be for I? Um. Exactly. Um, thank you, Miss. What is the verb to be for you, we, and they? Are. Uh. Excellent. What is the verb to be for he, she, and it? Is. 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 Perfect. Y después sería cualquier gerundio. Like, for example, drinking, smiling, playing, and so on. Like here, we have study now. Aquí tenemos un ejemplo que dice I am o puede ser you are studying now, okay, to complement the sentence, okay, or it can be they are studying now, okay. These phrases also can be contracted. También pueden ser la forma completa como I am, pero también puede ser la short, short form. And then here we have them. Aquí los tenemos. I am completa. Am la chore form. You are your. Ajá, y esa como sería? We are y? Here. We're. Ajá. They are? They do. They are. They do. Ajá. He, she, it, is? She's, his, or it's, right? And it is, ah, no, aquí estaba el it is, sería? Yes. Y ahora, ajá, y cómo hacemos ahora la oración, like for example, ahí me la pisar una vez más. So first we need a subject, right? Primero necesitamos un sujeto, like for example, I'm gonna choose right now I. I. What is the verb to be for I one more time? Um. Um, perfect. What are we doing right now? ¿Qué estamos haciendo ahorita? Hmm, estamos aprendiendo. O estamos estudiando. Uh -huh. How do we, ah, ok, estudiando, how do you say estudiando en inglés? Ok, I am studying, right? Miren, este, aquí está un, algo que está sucediendo ahorita mismo, right? Or maybe we can say she, what is the verb to be for she, everybody? Is. She. Exactly, is, ok. Can you tell me how, um, jugando en inglés, how would be jugando? Playing. Ah, she is playing, ok, y miren aquí es donde va lo del ING que les estaba mostrando unos, hace unos minutos, ¿verdad? She is playing, ok, let's do another one, ok, what about if we have we, what is the verb to be for we? Uh, are. Are, exactly, now, can you tell me one verb with ING that you remember from the list? Listening. Ah, we are listening. The class. Ah, very good. We are listening the class. And look, miren, por acá. Primero tenemos el verbo to, I mean, el sujeto we, después el verbo tuviera are, is, are. Y de ahí tenemos el progresivo con ING. 
Hello, Rebecca. Welcome to the class, Miss. Okay, ahora, por ejemplo, si tenemos contractado, like for example, he's. Can you tell me one verb with ing? Que recuerden del de las diapositivas que les acabo de mostrar, me podrían decir un verbo con ing, please. Cooking. Ah, he is cooking pasta, for example, my favorite. He is cooking pasta. Y miren, súper fácil. Primero el verb, el sujeto con el verbo to be, y después el verbo con ing. Y al, le podemos complementar con algo, vea. Um, okay. Give me one second. Now, in the negative statement, we're going to have a pequeña practice, okay? But right now, I want to finish with the explanation for the negative sentences. In the negative statements, okay, the only thing that happens is that we do with not. Lo único que sucede es que le agregamos el not, okay? Like, for example, here we have subject, verb, eh, I mean, subject, verb, plus not, plus the gerund form and the complement. Uh, so for example, ooh, for the verb to be for I, sería I'm um, not, right? But uh, you, we, and they, what is the negative form? ¿Cómo sería la forma negativa? If not. Are not. If not. Are not. Are not. Are not. Uh-huh. She, he, and it? Is not. not. Is not. And the gerund for, vamos a decir ahí pues un verbo con ng, like for example, Aquí tengo this one. Okay, he is not driving a car, okay? He is not driving a car. Porque pues uh, he's driving a motorcycle, right? No, he's not driving, he's riding a motorcycle, okay? Y miren, super fácil, pues solo le agregamos el not, aparte del verbo tu vida, para las negativas. Let's go with the next one. Ah, the short and long form. La forma corta y la forma larga. So long form, it would be, I am not. And the short form, it would be, I'm not. Mm -hmm. You are not, lo contractado sería? You aren't. You aren't. We are not. We are not. They are not. They are not. Uh -huh. He mm -hmm. is not. She is. He isn't. He isn't or she isn't. It is not. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't. Perfect. Okay, now let's create some sentences. Ahora vamos a hacer oraciones, okay? Recuerden que ahora estamos siempre hablando de cosas que no, pues, ¿verdad? no están sucediendo ahorita. Like, for example, hmm, we, I'm sorry, we, what is the verb to be for a week? One more time, can you remember to me? Are not. Are, mm, are not. Are not, because we're studying negatives, right? We are yes. not. ¿Qué no estamos haciendo ahorita, everybody okay. here? Okay. Ah, perfect, right? We are not cooking. We're Asleeping. starting. Ah, también, vea, they. ¿Cuál es el verbo to be for, for they? Are. Are. Not. Are. Uh-huh. Not. Sleeping. Sleeping, excellent. What about, te vamos a decir un nombre ahorita, like for example, um, let's say, uno de los compañeros, vamos a ver. Ah, oh, Rebecca, Rebecca, that just entered. Rebecca, ajá, ¿qué podemos decir? Vamos, negative form, ¿cómo sería lo negativo para? para it's, it's not. not. Ah, it's not, ahora un verbo con ing. What? Dancing, watching TV, right? Very good. Excellent, excellent. Checking the Facebook. Ah, checking Facebook. Okay, she is not checking Facebook. <laughs> excellent. <laughs> excellent, Facebook. I hope it's not. Okay, y así es como vamos a ver con estas, okay? Questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento, everybody? Questions, questions? No question. Okay. Right now, we are going to do a little bit of practice. Uh, what is the practice about? ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahorita? So, I think everybody lives with someone or... Creo que todos viven con alguien, yes, no? Bueno, si no con la TV. ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? You're going to look, look around. Van a ver hacia alrededor. Bueno, aquí yo tengo aquí cerquita to my mother. So, what are you going to do? 
van a ver qué están haciendo, qué está sucediendo. Y les voy a explicar, por ejemplo, my sentences, mis oraciones, qué está sucediendo around me. Ok, right now. Right now, my mother is watching TV. Ok, that's one. The, um, I am, diga, I am drinking water. And my mother is not eating, ¿ok? Three sentences, tres oraciones. Pero si tal vez no están con alguien, enciendan la televisión súper rápido y vean qué está sucediendo. Tal vez está saliendo Moisés Urbina, vean, entonces van a decir, <ríe> Moisés Urbina is eh, speaking, ¿ok? Está hablando. O Moisés Urbina is... Eh, touching, it's touching the tablet, porque yo lo veo que a veces está like, touching the tablet, ¿ok? Entonces, o oh, no se depende del canal que ustedes vean. So, look around, ¿ok? Look around and write three sentences, ¿ok? Y escriban tres oraciones. I am going to give you three minutes, ¿ok? Three minutes, so you can write three sentences. Le voy a dar tres minutitos para que puedan escribir tres oraciones. In positive or negative. Recuerden que pueden ser positivas o negativas. I'm going to leave you with this. Le voy a poner esto para que tengan idea. And yeah. So three minutes, okay? Starting right now. Very good, Rebecca. Don't send them yet. No las envíen todavía porque ya les voy a preguntar, ¿ok? <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Miss Rebecca. That was perfect. One more minute to everybody. Un minuto más para todos, ¿ok? One more minute. Okay, I want to listen, okay? But before we share these sentences, antes de que compartamos las oraciones, wait a sec. Uh, I'm gonna do it like a little practice and game, okay? This game is called Show Me, Show Me, okay? Para ver quién va a participar, ese, esa actividad se llama Show Me, Show Me, que es lo que van a hacer, me van a mostrar algo de un color que yo les voy a decir. Because we study colors this week, porque estudiamos los colores esta semana, entonces para practicarlos, okay? Like, for example, Show Me, Show Me something black. Black, 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 black. Show me something black. Oh, very good, Jose Carlos. Oh, you have to show me, everybody. Los que puedan van a mostrarme something black. Oh, excellent, Alejandra. Ada, Esmeralda, nothing. <clears throat> nothing black. Black, nada. Color black. Um, yes or no? Me tienen que mostrar algo. Fausto, yes. ah, okay, very good. Oh, very good, Fausto. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so we have many. Tenemos muchos participantes de Alejandra, Mónica, Jenny, Carla Rivera, Kevin, uh, Eric, and Rebecca. Okay, let's start with Kevin. Kevin, I can see your sentences. Can you read them for me, please? 
Kevin? My three sentences. Yes, please. Uh, I am cooking for tomorrow. Right now? Yes. What? No, the cat make is it... playing. It's sleeping, person. Okay. And my mom is talking. Okay, but talking is with O or with A? This one? It talking. La talking is con O or con A? A. Ah, okay. And I was like, mm hmm. Okay. No worry, Mr. Talking. Remember. Perfect. Let's go with Kevin. Kevin, tell me one, one number from one to five. Uh, two. Two. Okay. One, two. Jose Carlos. Jose Carlos, tell me your three sentences, please. My roommate is flipping now. Uh huh. The uh -huh. is flying over the bed. Uh huh. I am studying English now. Excellent, Mister. Very good. Thank you, Jose Carlos. Tell me one number from one to four. Two. Two. Okay. Very good. Uh, it would be Alejandra. Tell me, Alejandra. Um, I am not watching TV. Okay. My sister is sleeping a bed. Is She's... it is it sleeping in the bed? Yes. Okay, very good. Uh huh. And he is drinking coffee. Excellent. Thank you, Alejandra. Alejandra, tell me one number from one to five. One to five. Un número del one al five. Uh, four. Four, okay. One, two, three, four. Jenny, Jenny, let's try it, Jenny. Uh, my son is um, baking. Co horneando? Mm, no. What? <laughs> ah, bathing, bathing. Ba ah, es mm -hmm. que le escuché baking. Baking es ah, no. horneando. Okay, so baking. baking. Así, pero hey. así, ¿verdad? Uh, yes. Uh -huh, yes. Okay. Sorry, me. Sorry. My... Uh, ah, continue. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, my mom is having dinner. Ah, uh -huh. very good dinner. Mm -hmm. And the number three. La otra. La... Uh, oh, solo dos I am. Um... Mm. <laughs> Solo dos Oh, okay. I am. What are you doing right now? ¿Qué estás haciendo ahorita? What are you doing? Hey, I am is... studying. 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 Yes. Study. Yes. Very good, Miss. Thank you. Okay. Let's go. Jenny, tell me one number from one to five. Um, nine. Nine. Okay. No, from one to five. One, two, three, four, okay. or five. Huh? Okay. Um, three. Three. Okay. Perfect. One, two, three. It would be Eric. Eric. Let's go, Eric. I want to hear you. My mother <laughs> is cooking. Okay. Uh, my brother praying. It's what crying? Mm -hmm. Crying, llorando. Playing, playing. Playing. Ah, okay. And yeah. I was like crying. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh huh. Next one. My dog is sleeping. Sleeping. Ah, sleeping. that's good. Thank you for sharing, Mister. That was super good. Let's go with Esmeralda. Tell me, Esmeralda, what do you have for your sentences? Okay. My dog, mm -hmm. dog is sleeping. Excellent, very good. My daughter is checking five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am not eating pupusas. Ah, that's perfect. Very good. Thank you, Miss. Let's go with the next one, Carla Rivera. My father is not dancing. Ah, okay. I am not. Eating. Uh-huh. My mother is watching YouTube. 
Oh, very good. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Let's go with Monica Esmeralda. Monica Esmeralda, tell me. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandmother is not watching TV. Okay. Uh, my sister is not cleaning the house. Okay. <laughs> and my dog is playing. Oh, nice. Very good. Thank you for sharing, Miss. I love your sentences, everybody. And they are so fun. What about you, Rebecca? You're the last one. Tell me. I, I see your sentences, but I want you to tell me your sentences. Tell me, tell me. My baby is not sleeping. Uh -huh. My mother is not grinning. Mm -hmm. My son is studying. Excellent. Thank you for sharing, me. That was super good, everybody. Thank you for doing the sentences in practice. Now, here in the manual, this is in page 26. Wait, I don't remember exactly. Oh, 27. You have this little grammar focus, okay? And uh, that's again with the present continuous, okay? Que es con el present continuous. And the conjunctions, conjunction is with and, okay? Cuando suceden dos situaciones al mismo tiempo, pues vamos a decir and, okay? And here we have, aquí tenemos lo que estábamos estudiando antes, but I am, I am not, y los diferentes eh, tipos de contractions that we have in positive and negative. And then we have a little bit of practice. We have these four pictures that I have them in a presentation, que aquí las tengo en una presentación. And you are going to tell me, according to the pictures, okay, what is happening, que está sucediendo, like for example, Help me to start reading, please. Uh, me voy a empezar a leer. Rebecca, please. Here. Okay, miss. Thank you. My name's Lyle. Mm -hmm. Lyle? Yes. I am wearing mm -hmm. a green suit today. Uh-huh. I. Uh-huh. What do you think it's going here, everybody? Vamos a ir I, a uh -huh. I am mm -hmm. high heels. Pero, ¿cuál sería el verbo? Wearing or not? I am not uh -huh. I high heels to okay. I am wearing. I am wearing, porque I si se mira, wearing. están los, los tacones, uh -huh. high heels. Uh -huh. I am wearing uh -huh. high heels too. Thank I you, Miss. Am... That's perfect. That's perfect. Vamos a poner alguien más. But that was super good, Rebecca. That was excellent. Let's go with Monica. Monica, help me to finish. Tú, Monica, me vas a ayudar a terminar here. Please, go. Hi, health to it is cleaning, but I know a haircut. But I am not. Y el verbo aquí está, mis, el mismo verbo es. Eh? Wearing. Ajá. Y de ahí. A, a rain. Raincoat. Ajá, very good. Thank you. I am, miren, y me faltó a mí el verbo. <laughs> but it's wearing, wearing a raincoat. Give me one second. I'm going to write it down. Lo vamos a escribir por acá. Super easy, super quick. Wait. I remember I was checking this class yesterday and I saw that. Ajá, let me see. Now we are ready. Yes, very good, Miss Moni. That was super good. I am not wearing a raincoat. Now let's go with the second picture, number two. Help me, please, Kevin. It's hot. It's hot, hot today. Uh huh. Toshi in no, Noriko. Uh huh. Uh... Son dos personas, pero son they, entonces. They are. Y el verbo es el mismo, mister. It's about the clothes. Esta, esta unidad, recuerden que era de la ropa. Y usando se dice wearing. Entonces. Uh, wearing. Ajá, eso sería. They are, they are wearing. Ajá. And shorts and t-shirts. Excellent. Thank you, mister. Vamos a ver. Yes, they, uh, well, sería Toshi en Noriko. O sea, en nuestra mente, recuerden que como tenemos dos personas, 
El sujeto de nuestra mentecita va a ser, oh, they, right? They are wearing, o oh, Toshi y Noriko are wearing shorts and teachers. Continue, please, Carla Rivera. It's very sunny, but they are, are not wearing sunglasses. Excellent, Miss. Thank you. Exactly. They are not wearing sunglasses. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Let's go with the next one. Picture number three. Help me, please, with this one. Jose Carlos, start to read, please, mister. Feel. Close to me there. Mm -hmm. Siempre el mismo verbo, okay? I, I can see it there. You cannot. Oh, wait a second. Give me one second. Okay, there, mister. Ahora sí. Palabra. Ajá, but what do you think is the word over there, over there, mister? He is wearing a suit today. Exactly. He's not wearing a... Mm-hmm. He's not wearing? No, 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 no. He's not wearing a pants and jacket. Excellent. Let's see. Oh, not. Exactly, Mr. Oh, my goodness. That one is another one. Wait a second. Is it the other? The word. It's not. It's not wearing a pants and a jacket, right? Or it's wearing? He's wearing. Uh-huh. He's wearing. It was okay. Pants Estaba bien. Uh-huh. Pants and jacket. Estaba perfect, sorry. Estaba bien. I don't know what did I say. It's no, pensé que era, no era así, but it's okay. Next one. Help me, please, Esmeralda, with the next answer. He. He is wearing uh -huh. a brown uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. he is. Uh -huh. Wearing a tie. La he's, wear, he's wearing a tie. Se le mira la tie, la corbata. Yes or no? No, <laughs> no se distingue. No. Pero no, Miss. Uh -huh, no. Ajá, no. Uh -huh, no. Can you say? Entonces, he is not wearing a tie. Excellent, Miss. Very good. No se distingue, pero vamos a decir que no. Thank you, Miss Miranda. Let's go, Alejandra. Okay. Please start, Alejandra. It's cold today, but Katy is waiting. Uh, no sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Coat. ¿Abrigo? Katy has a coat in the picture. ¿Tiene una, un coat in the picture? No, uh, it's cold today, but Katy is not waiting a coat. Excellent, very good. It's not, it's not wearing a coat, right? So, tiene un sweater, una sweatshirt, they say. Uh, thank you, Miss. Let's go, Eric. Eric, can you help me, please? Yeah, solo a coat, she. Mm -hmm. Esa sería. Yes, she, y de ahí, ¿qué, qué sería? Y... She is or she is not wearing? She is not. Look at the picture, tienes que ver la imagen. She is... A sweatshirt, ¿no tiene una sweatshirt? ¿Un sweater? ¿Or gloves? ¿Gloves? ¿Guantes? ¿Yes or no? Yes. Entonces, en afirmative, entonces en positivo, ¿cómo sería? She is mm -hmm. wearing she is a, a wearing a, a wear t-shirt. Sweat, sweatshirt. Repeat the sweatshirt. sweatshirt. Excellent. Sweatshirt. Thank you, Mr. Uh -huh. And gloves. And gloves. Um, uh, hat. Excellent. Let's see. Yes, very good. And the last one, help me, please, Fausto. Can you help me, Fausto? Sí. Mm -hmm. uh, ¿Dónde nos quedamos? Globe, ¿verdad? Uh, en, en a hat. hat. Sí. Mm -hmm. En a hat, sí. 
is not wearing but mm -hmm. she is a wearing sketchup. Sneakers. Sneakers. sneakers, exactly. She is wearing a sneakers, exactly. Thank you. That's the picture also in page 26. Eso también está en la página 26 about your, in your manual, okay? If you want to check it out. Si lo quieren checar por ahí, you can go in there, okay? Then, oh, no, we have a, a finish. But then in your manual, wait a second, in su manual, give me one second, we have more practice. We have the questions. But right now, do we have any questions so far with the affirmative and negative sentences? Do we have any questions, doubts so far? Is everything clear? Remember, just a reminder, solo un recordatorio. When we are using the present, I mean, like anything, present, simple present, or present continuous, sorry, con las contracciones y las formas completas, porque si se fijaron, estaban las dos en la explicación que les di. Entonces, recuerden que al momento de escribir, tratemos de hacerlo completo, aunque en la plataforma parezca contractado, ¿vea? pero aparte de la plataforma, o sea, en real life, este contractado es informal y no contractado es formal, ¿ok? Solo un recordatorio acerca de eso, because sometimes we do it, porque a veces lo hacemos y no está bien. Mm, we are going to do one last practice. Just give me one second. Vamos a hacer una pequeña practice practice and then we finish wait because tomorrow we are going to practice but the questions in here we are going to choose okay um number aquí vamos a elegir un número okay so you have to choose one number from 1 to 16 and you are going to say what are it's happening in the picture okay van a decir qué es lo que está sucediendo en la imagen let's start with Jenny, Jenny, tell me one number, please. Yes, me see. Um, yes. Four. Four, okay. What is he doing, Miss? <laughs> what is the toying? Uh -huh. What is he doing? Pero qué está haciendo? He. 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 Is. Uh -huh. ¿Qué está haciendo? ¿Cuál es la acción? Swimming. Eh, sí, no lo puedo decir. Swimming, repita. Swimming. Su swimming. Ajá, sí, mire. Swimming, ¿ok? okay. Swimming. Ajá, swimming, nadar. Excellent, Miss. Let's see. Yay, very good. ¿Podrías decirla ahora, uh -huh. please? Please, um, Jenny. He is swimming. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with next one. Help me, please, Jose Carlos. What number do you want? Number 10. 10? Awesome. What is he doing? <laughs> he is drinking water. Excellent. Let's see. Excellent. Thank you, mister. Let's go now with Fausto. Fausto, choose a number. 11. Okay. Oh, another one. Uh, sit. What is he doing? Uh, <laughs> uh, he is... Uh, no. Luna. He's reading. Writing. <laughs> reading. Writing. Uh -huh. But <laughs> your dog, mister, your dog is barking. Your dog is barking. Su perrita estaba barking, ladrando. No worries, mister. No se preocupe, mister. You are in the comfort of your house. Yo sé que está en la comodidad de su casa, so don't worry. But yes, mister, very good. Writing, okay? Vamos a ver si it is correct. Vamos a ver si es correct. Yay! Can you read it right now, please, one more time? Eric? Can you read it? 
¿Lo podría volver a leer, please, mister? Just to practice, solo para práctica. Please, please. Oh, no. Okay, but that's perfect. Thank you. Uh, let's go with Carla. Carla, tell me one number, please. Two. Two. Oh, no, Carla, another number, please. One. Oh, that's good. Harley Quinn, what is she doing? <laughs> She's drinking tea. Okay, she is drinking tea. Pero también podemos decir el nombre de ella, ¿verdad? Que super famous as Harley Quinn from, from the Joker, right? Harley Quinn, creo que se escribe así, no me acuerdo. Ah, no me acuerdo cómo se dice Harley Quinn. But it's drinking coffee, maybe. Okay, recuerden que de una imagen puede salir mucho, pero uh, it, she is reading también porque está leyendo. Vamos a ver the answer. Oh, no, Miss Carla. Can you read the sentence? She is reading a book. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Alejandra. Alejandra, tell me one number, please. Um, five. Five. What is she doing? She's singing. Excellent. That was good, Alejandra. Thank you. Let's go with mm -mm -mm. Kevin. Tell me one number, Kevin. Uh, 15. Okay. What is she doing? Oh, what are they doing? They are cooking. Okay, Miss Jenny. Oh, very good. They are cooking. Okay, here I have she's cooking, but that's perfect, mister. Thank you. Yes, Miss Jenny. Yeah, I read it. Dale, dale, dale. No problem, Miss. No hay problema. Here is about to rain cats and dogs. Aquí ya va a caer el diluvio, too. Let's go with Monica. Monica, tell me one number, please. Number nine. Okay. Okay, what is he doing, Monica? Uh, I don't know. Uh, tocando la guitarra. Do you know how to say, like, tocar? Es como el verbo de jugar, Miss. Play. Uh -huh. He's, ¿y cómo se dice el instrumento? Sí, playing uh, guitar. Okay, the guitar. Let's see. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Yay, very good, Miss. Thank you, Monica. Let's go with next one. Help me, please, Esmeralda. Three. Three, okay. What is he doing? She's uh, playing, playing, uh, <laughs> Bicycle. Okay. Ah, in the bike. In the bike. The bike. Ajá. Ajá. Okay. O también puede ser andar en la bicicleta. Se puede decir así. Miren, he is riding the bike. Ok, montar o andar en bici o andar en algo de que sea de así, like, que usas tus hands. Sería riding, ok. Montando okay. o andando. Riding the bike. Excellent, Esmeralda. Thank you. Rebecca, wait, what was it? Oh, yeah, that was the answer. Miss Rebecca, tell me one number, please. Seven. Oh, no. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They doing? What are they doing? ¿Qué están haciendo? They. They are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. La verdad, no sé, no, no sé cómo decir. Jugando, maybe. Vamos a poner jugando. Um, they are playing. Ok, they are playing. Let's see. Survivor. Ah, they okay. are surviving, ok. Surviving. Saving. They are? Saving. Ah, saving. Salvando. Salvando. Ajá, uh -huh. saving or uh -huh. escaping, maybe. Escaping, escapando. It could be right because of the cocoa trial. The cocoa trial. I'm sorry. Creaming? They are creaming. 
Ah, escalando, yes, climbing, climb. Aquí le vamos a escribir cómo se pronuncia. Climbing, ok. Sí, climbing, ok. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Let's see what do we have for answer. Vamos a ver qué tenemos de respuesta. Oh, yes, that was the answer. Rebecca, can you read the sentence, please? ¿Podrías ayud ay ayudarme a leer la oh, the they answer? Are, they are driving a tree. Excellent. That was very good, everybody. Wow. Okay, so that was a little bit of practice, okay, for the present progressive, okay? Tomorrow we are going to continue with this topic, but it would be mostly por questions. Mañana vamos a continuar con esto, pero va a ser más que todo con las preguntas, porque ahorita solo hemos puesto las, las positivas y las negativas, okay? So, yeah, I don't know if you have any questions so far. Questions, questions? No sé si hay alguna duda o pregunta. No With... question. Okay. Uh, Miss Esmeralda resolvió lo de la plataforma, entonces, Miss. Buscando sí, estaba el ejercicio. Ok, buscando sí, el ejercicio. Okay, Pero perfect. cualquier cosa le escribo, gracias. Yes, no problem, no problem. Yes, me, porque yo buscando y cuando me dijo, Yes, mi Rebeca. Miss, yo este, ya voy a tomar captura de lo que le comenté porque usted me dijo que iba como a. a ajá, porque fue la única que salió mal. Uh -huh. Yes, mi, sí, porque eh, pues como les digo, yo reporto vea, cuando algo sale mal o si yo lo uh -huh. primero lo pruebo yo, vea, cuando si ya no le da mis respuestas a ustedes pues tengo que uh -huh. reportarlo para que lo cambien ¿verdad? porque no por bien, le baja el puntaje, como les dije eso. Ajá, a mí me bajó al 97 parece que me, me quedó ah. esa es la única que me quedó al 97 de ahí todas me quedaron al 100, solo esa me quedó al 97 I am sorry, mi so yes, sí, es que con eso por eso les digo que mejor cuando ya van a la a la segunda o tercera práctica mejor me digan, mis fíjese que no sé por qué me sale malo esto y me envían la captura donde sale el número de ejercicio, porque a veces yo estoy dándole el like este, pasar a todos los ejercicios hasta que encuentro It's, eh, entonces, pero hay un hay numerito que, que me indica y es más fácil para mí encontrarlo, para apoyarles, ¿ok? Así que ahí, pero con todo gusto les voy a ayudar en lo que pueda. Remember that for this Friday, recuerden que para esta semana debemos de haber finalizado section number number five. Oh, yeah, number five. Sí, ya por la sección cinco, si es que vamos a finalizar. So, please, please, ok, try to do it as, as soon as you can. El tema más que todo está basado en lo que vimos ahora, así que ya pueden ir avanzando, ok. Thank you everybody for coming. Gracias a todos por venir. I really appreciate that. De verdad aprecio eso. And I hope to see you tomorrow, Thursday, ok? Y espero verlos a todos el día de mañana. Bye bye everybody. Take care. Bye, Miss. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good Take night. care. Good night. Good night. Take bye. care. Bye. Good night. Bye. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. Be safe. Thank you, Mr. and Elber. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow, Miss. Take care.